I was doing a couple laps around the hotel property. I was going to do 10 for a total ride of 20 miles. And as I came around the fourth, at the fourth lap, there was a bend in the road and a Ford Explorer was coming right at me. Mm-hmm. And he was going about 40 miles an hour based on what the police said. Mm-hmm. And I remember, I remember everything about that morning, the sound of me hitting his grill into the windshield. I went, I broke through the windshield, which is nearly impossible. Mm-hmm. It really is. Right. And I don't think we spend a lot of time really sort of just reflecting on like, who's in my life mm-hmm. and are they the right people for me at this point in my life? You know, because I, I do believe this. If you can change one life anywhere, you change lives everywhere. So if you reach one listener through your podcast or one viewer through my, my video blogging, then they're going to show up that day maybe a bit different. And there's a ripple effect to that. And mm. the people that they ripple into or cascade into their lives change. You know, for me, I know I'm the byproduct of some great female mentorship throughout my career. And I also, you know, got involved because I wanted, I wanted a better world for my daughters. Hmm. My daughters who are just as competent as the guys they go to school with, when they become professionals and they go out in the workforce, they should get paid what another competent guy gets paid Hmm. earlier when we don't have alignment then we, we don't have a very efficient energetic system. So the five, the five areas in, p- in particular that I, I uh, punch out in the book are like one is spirituality, which is not religious. It's more about like, you know, do I feel good about what I'm doing? Do I have an understanding of like, you know, what I want to spend my time on? I talk about mental or emotional. So that's sort of like mind clutter, you know, and, and mm. focus we're making big decisions at work. We're making big decisions in life. And none of our great decisions were done in a reactive fashion. Mm. They're all done with a little bit of thoughtfulness, a little Mm. bit of mindfulness. But what happens so often, you know, I see it in the States. I know you guys see it where you are is we go from meeting to meeting to meeting, like the hamster wheel concept of like eight to nine, nine to 10, 10 to 11, boom, 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 boom. We eat it. (laughs) We eat on the run. If we eat it all, Mm. we're chasing it with caffeine and then, you know, we might chase it with a glass of vino at night. And we're just, we're not really investing in ourselves. We're not investing in our own wellness. And if we're not, if we're not showing up that great, then we can't be great for the people around us. Mm. So I think one of the most important things a leader can do, actually, it doesn't have to be like leader in terms of the hierarchy, just people in general, it's just schedule like, 30 minutes to an hour of time, just like, just think. And the first thing they check before they actually get out of bed is they get into their email or they get into their social. And what that does Mm -hmm. is before you can wipe the sleep from your eyes, before you can even go to the bathroom, your day is framed in all the things that you missed. Uh, And like everything you missed, all the FOMO and all the things you need to do. So now like, it's like, you're not even out of bed and you're on your hamster wheel. You know, I, I try to surround myself with people who will challenge my thinking. I think that's good. I think sometimes we can get really comfortable and sort of run to our tribal corners and only believe what we want to believe and mm-hmm. surround ourselves with people that will validate that. So I try to push some boundaries and hang out with people that might have a different point of view. I certainly want to be around people that can be great in a crisis or great to celebrate. But most importantly, I want to try to be around people who also see the world abundantly, that want to make a difference in the world, that are optimistic, but not not like rose-colored glass, glasses, unicorns and rainbow optimistic, like practical optimism. Like we-